Hello, my beautiful friends. It is Michelle, and I'm Michelle Orwick, and I'm super excited to be here tonight. I'm usually here every Monday night on um, this channel, and this week we have a very special um, chakra challenge going all week long, and I am covering the third eye. So welcome to um, the global um, frequency movement, and we are sharing um, energy today with our beautiful Healy's. And if that, if someone has shared this and you don't know what the Healy is, definitely, um, definitely reach out to them. Right now, I have programmed this group into my Healy using my resonance to be receiving the third eye. So if you're watching this, whether it's now in in real time or whether you're watching it as a recording, we have um, basically the ability to put on the third eye chakra into the groups section, into a, a transmission. And so right now I am sending a transmission to all of you using the third eye program. And it does have one for all the programs. And um, it has one for all the chakras. And we're gonna be doing one at the same time every day. So today is the third eye. And I'm super excited to be doing this for you. And what I really wanted to deepen into is your practice. Whether you are using the Healy or not, the third eye is one of the most important chakras to this current time frame of awakening. And it's always, it's always so powerful and important to me to connect with anybody who is wanting to open up their third eye. And so um, I see you guys all on there. Hi, everybody. I do not have my glasses on and so I am going to just kind of say hello to everyone and read the comments later. But I'm grateful that you're here. I want to talk about the fact that the third eye is often shown way up here. And really, you want to basically pull your finger over from the top of your eyeball, your eyebrows, and you're going to feel a little bit of a dip right here. And if you were to imagine going over here, there's also a dip on the sides of your head. And if you were to go to the top of your head and go down and the back of your head and go forward, right in the middle of your mind's eye, in the middle of your brain is your pineal gland. And our pineal gland is our master cell of the universe. It is one of the places where your soul travels it is also incredibly important to the body regulations. At one point, they used to think this was a junk cell um, because they didn't know it, what it was. But we in spirituality believe that this is one of the places where our soul travels from lifetime to lifetime with us. And so it is so important to be working with this because it gets calcified. Um, we put things in our water, the things that we eat, um, and it, it gets just like when you're looking at a, a sink that has crusty things all over it, it gets calcified and we want to release the calcification. We want to activate our DNA. We want to activate our, our spiritual selves and our awareness. I've heard it called the first eye, which is probably to me one of the best descriptions because even when your eyes are closed, you actually have the ability to see, visualize just as deeply as if you were looking out of the two main eyes. There's, there's the chance to actually experience far more a deeper outreach of what is going on in here than we we are ever really taught as like school children or um, they want us to be asleep instead of awake. But 
we are waking up and it is that time on the planet right now. So we are in this like powerful shift, this powerful raising of your frequency. And so some exercises to really generate your third eye, one of the best things you can do is spend two minutes, two full minutes, clock it if you have to, just closing these two eyes and breathing. It resets your entire body systems. It resets your digestive system. It resets your um, nervous system and it allows you to start connecting. One of the things that I do is just remember to close your eyes and breathe for two minutes. So I'm actually gonna time this for everyone and we're gonna start there. And as we go through this half hour, I'm also gonna do some other exercises, but I just wanna start with the simplest, the thing that you can do anywhere, except for when you're driving, and probably when someone's talking to you. Um, but in general, you can find two minutes. You can walk outside, you can go to the bathroom, you can, you can just get two minutes to reset yourself. And so I'm gonna have you just close your eyes and just start breathing, taking a deep breath in and even counting. One, two, three, four, and keep your eyes closed and exhale, two, three, four. Breathe in, one, two, three, and four, and close your eyes, two, three, and four, and you'll already feel your heartbeat coming back into alignment, but keep going. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ah, exhale, two, three, four. Take a really big deep breath in. One, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. One more inhale, two, three, four. Hold it, hold it. Two, three, and four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold it out, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, and four. Exhale, two, three, four, and relax. And now you can open your eyes back up. It's only two minutes. Give me a shout out if you feel better already. And there's so many more things you can do, but this is the quickest, the easiest, the first thing you can do to just start creating an awareness of your, of your body. Great, I see some hearts and some likes. Thank you, Leona. Um, so the next thing I want you to do is, I want you to really remember that when we're starting to work with this third eye, we're starting to work with the awareness that there is more out there than just us and that we are really just energy. We're, we're molecules and atoms and molecular structure and we are just light and frequency. And so our third eye connects us to the field. It is actually the place where we enter the quantum field as a soul. As when we start seeing with this mind's eye. And so the next thing I wanted to do for you all tonight was in Theta Healing, we have a technique called the 12 strand DNA activation. And so it is opening up that pineal gland and opening up that opportunity. It helps you become more spiritual it helps you shed um, limiting energetics that are holding you back. It helps heal you on an ancestral, you know, starts healing the cells and the memories and starts changing you and bringing you into the alignment of the new, new frequency, the new vibration that's happening on the planet right now. So what I want you to do is just take 
a couple more deep breaths and let me in. And, and energetically, what I'd like you to do is actually say to yourself, yes, I accept this upgrade. Yes, I, wherever I am spiritually, I am ready to be more. I am ready to allow more love, more light, more higher frequency, more joy into my field. Wouldn't that be great, right? So allow that to happen for you. Just like literally say yes. Yes, I want this. And then just close your eyes and we're gonna go through another healing. This time I'm gonna guide you. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to see and feel all of your cells and soul fragments and pieces and parts of you returning to your body from everywhere through time and space. Just imagine, visualize, or feel or experience all the parts of you coming back into your heart, coming back into your mind's eye, returning to you. And you might even start feeling pieces where it's your oversoul and you're becoming more whole where you actually feel more and more whole. Hi Jade, hi Melissa. I am actually activating each of you as we come in. Um, Erica, um, Anamaya, Rebecca. I see a bunch of other names um, that I cannot pronounce, but I love you from all over the world. I'm excited to see you here and come back into your body. Imagine in your third eye, visualize bringing everything back to you through time and space. Everything back to you through dimension and reality that you are returning yourself to a fullness, a complete wholeness. And at the same time, it is commanded to send all the pieces of you that you've collected from other people, all the things you're holding on to that you claimed for other people, hooks and cords and negative energy and projections, anything that is connected to you that isn't yours, we're sending that into the light to be replaced. And that leaves even more room to get wholer and to be filled any place that is empty. We are starting with the third eye activating the third eye, activating the pineal gland, activating the pituitary gland, defragging, cleaning, clearing, and releasing anything that's stored in the brain that is no longer serving us, no longer a good belief for us. As we rise, as we open, as we become access accessing our truest potential, we let go of the sandbags and the limiting beliefs and the energy pulling it away and we activate all the way down into the base of our spine and our heart we are activating cleaning clearing and creating this 12 strand crystalline dna that you are open to be complete as above connecting to the chakras above your head way up above, connecting to the divine, connecting to below, way below your feet, into the earth star chakra, into the earth. So as above, so below, so within, connecting and healing the DNA, anything that is distorted from our historic lines, our mother and father lines, our blood lines, we're upgrading the DNA through our pineal gland, which is where the molecular structure of our DNA is stored. Seeing it spin in a beautiful right spin energy through our body, seeing yourself as if you are in a beautiful white sparkly ball of light and that that energy is coming through you and any place there is darkness, any place there is physical pain, any place that there is negative emotions that are being held inside of you, in your mind, releasing depression, releasing anxiety, releasing group consciousness. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious or, or, or feeling other people, releasing that into the field 
replacing it into the body with love, replacing it into the body with acceptance, connecting to optimum health, connecting that mind's eye, that crystal clear clarity of 2020, that you see it, you feel it, and you know, you know that you know that you know that you know that everything is working for your favor. And anything you were doing that was sabotaging yourself, you are ready to let go now and burn away and let go of. And that you're coming into your own divine self. And I want you to imagine, visualize, see, feel, and experience stepping in to your own highest level, into your own highest frequency, literally bringing yourself to a new vibration to an even deeper vibration and maybe you were already feeling good collapse the timelines and bring into your soul self anything and everything that is your birthright so claim your birthright claim your gifts and bring them to you now remember there is so much buried in your dna and you can choose the negative which is what we're programmed to do, or you can choose the positive. So call in the gifts. Everything any ancestor has ever learned, pull that to the surface. Every lesson, fortitude, strength, knowledge, wisdom, the wisdoms of the elders that are in your family line. Skipping over the fear, the, the belief that something has to be hard or you have to be a victim. Bring forward all the good traits of your family line. And then heal, release, and let go of everything that is no longer working in this world. Because often we have beliefs that did work 100 years ago, 200 years ago, but they're no longer true. So stepping into the truth, into your true self, into the true you, Take a moment with that third eye to visualize yourself two, three years from now. What is your deepest, truest desire and dream? Go ahead and put forth knowledge into that. I'm so grateful and thankful that this is in my life now. And I want you to connect to that version of you because time and space is not true the way we understand it. And allow yourself to step into it, to be making decisions based on that knowledge that this is already within you. You already are the success. It's who you are. And if there is an identity crisis here in this moment where you're like, no, it's not possible. I don't know how I can get there. Screw the how. Forget the how. Just go into the actual energy. Ooh, there you go. I just felt that on a collective shift. So now together, let's join hands energetically. Let's just imagine we as a circle connecting hands throughout the world and we literally have both hemispheres people from all over the planet watching at the same time and so let's send a prayer of peace a prayer of joy and visualize and see the world as we know it can be one of unity consciousness connecting our 12 strand dna and activating the planet activating the consciousness of the planet, raising the frequency of the collective consciousness. Every time you heal, so does, so does the energy on the consciousness rise. Every time you raise your frequency, so does the frequency of the planet rise. So you don't have to do anything else but heal yourself. Heal your beliefs, heal your mind's eye. Visualize and see and feel the world rising in unity, rising in healing, rising in helping a brother or helping a sister, giving another hand, 
see it, imagine it, feel it, visualize it, and activate it. Now take a moment and see what the message is here for you. There's, I feel like there's a message for each and every one of you. Go ahead and see what the energy is telling you right now. Show me, show me, show me. Mm, nice. And so we come to a close of this meditation and I want you to bring yourself back into your body. If you had your eyes closed, go ahead and open your eyes. Connect to the earth. And one of my favorite ways to reconnect is to put my hands on my heart and smile. Because that will change your brain function. Relax. Let it let go. I hope you're feeling more relaxed. I hope you're feeling more connected. And so practice working with your third eye. And one of my favorite ways to do that is to visualize yourself healthy, happy, abundant, and whole three years into the future. You can also use the color blue to purple with this. One of my favorite scents to use is I use frankincense. I place it right here on my third eye. Sacred frankincense, it'll help. Just place it right here on your temples or your third eye. Oh, that'll help bring you into that opening of the third eye. Um, you can use crystals that you can use that I love is I love placing little crystals like moonstone. Moonstone is one of my favorites and I'll place it right here on my forehead when I lay down and meditate. I use amethyst. I use, um, sometimes I use um, fluorite. You can use apothalite or clear quartz crystal, but definitely the third eye is really, really activated by crystals. And it's almost got this perfect little dip to put the crystals there. Um, and you can also wear a third eye bracelet um, where you put the crystals and wear it as a necklace or a bracelet so that even though you're walking around in the day, you're using your intuition. So I hope some of this has helped you. Um, I'm going to continue running the Healy. It's a 33 minute program, so you may continue to feel it for a little bit longer. Um, you might even feel it into the evening because it has a residual effect of opening. You may feel lighter and more vibrant over the next three days as the DNA activation takes takes hold and you start opening up your pineal gland. Um, if you're feeling like you really do have brain fog or, or like serious calcification in there, you might wanna use some apple cider vinegar to drink. I know it's not tasty, but it really does kind of work to, to get all the gunk out of that, that brain. And it also helps your lymphatic system so, um, yeah, and I'll be back here next week, um, same time on Monday, doing a, a regular Monday night mindset call, but every night this week for the rest of this week, one of my teammates will be in doing every, sh um, every one of the chakras. So like tomorrow we'll be doing throat chakra and, um, on and on at eight o'clock, um, Eastern standard time and whatever time it is that you watch this in your time zone. Um, we're having just a ball doing this, um, doing this challenge. I'm so excited to see you all. Um, I hope you'll come back and do our mindset calls every week, even, even after, especially if you're new to this collective um, movement. I hope that you will come back and watch the mindset calls. If you're already a member of the Healy world and you own a Healy, we are going to continue doing a little bit of coaching, business coaching over on the other, the collective um, Facebook group. So we'll do that. 
if you're tuning in and you're like, I don't have a Healy, I don't know anything about it. Um, maybe someone shared this on your page and feel free to share this video on your page. Um, reach out and one of us are, are gonna be happy to help you um, introduce, you know, introduce it to you. So I, I wish you just the most brightest, beautifulest week and I'll see you again next Monday. I love you. And just remember that the world really opens up with the frequency of love. And if you want to make a big difference in your life, choose to see the world peaceful. Choose to visualize because visualization will create your reality. I'm completely serious about this. I have your mindset, your visualization, your way of seeing things through your mind's eye is going to create and line up exactly what you see. So for example, if you are thinking about a blue car, everywhere you look, you're gonna see blue cars. There was always the same amount of blue cars on the road, but you're gonna see blue cars. It's the same thing with what you think about. If you're in gratitude and you're visualizing things happening joyfully and healthy and, and peacefully and the consciousness that you create, that is what you're gonna see. Those are the people that you're going to be able to recognize. Those are the feelings that you're going to have as an awareness. So what you think about in that third eye and in your in your conscious and unconscious belief systems is going to be the reality that you start encountering because that's what you're gonna be looking for and that's therefore what you're going to experience. So just a little bit of love from your from your crazy fairy godmother Michelle. And I love you and I'll see you next week. And those of you who are in the collective, I'll see you in a few minutes.